Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Sony's newest Xperia keyboard on other Android devices. Now I've always been envious of the European market because unlike here, you can actually buy one of Sony's Xperia smartphones over there. For some reason, Sony has all but abandoned the North American market and it's really a shame because they always put out some great phones. But at the very least, thanks to developer Yuner90, we can now enjoy a little taste of the Sony experience by trying out their latest keyboard. The keyboard is highly customizable and it has all the features you've grown accustomed to, so honestly it's one of the best there is. To get this one going, you'll just need to have unknown sources enabled in settings under security, and you'll also need to be running KitKat or higher. Aside from that, just head to step 1 at my full tutorial to grab a copy of the ported Xperia Keyboard APK. Then once you've done that, just have to download complete notification. From here, press install, and when that's finished, you'll have to manually enable the keyboard in settings. So once you've got it installed, head to the language and input section in Android settings menu. From here, select the current keyboard option, then tap Choose Keyboard on the bottom of this pop-up. Next, enable the Xperia keyboard with the toggle switch next to it, then press OK on the pop-up. After that, back out one level, then tap that current keyboard setting again. This time, you'll see the Xperia keyboard in the list, so go ahead and select it here to start using it. But before you get off and running, the Xperia keyboard has tons of customization options, so it would be a good idea to check those out now. So right here under the Keyboard and Input Methods section in the same menu, go ahead and select the Xperia Keyboard option. From here, you got tons of cool settings, like the ability to choose multiple simultaneous languages, tweak the word suggestions, and even enable gesture input in machine learning. But if you scroll down to the bottom half of this menu, you'll see some of my favorite options. One cool thing is this is like the first and only keyboard that lets you disable the smiley key, which is something I never use and it just gets in the way normally. On top of that, you can enable a number row at the top of the keyboard, and it can even be formatted for one-handed use. But if you head to this keyboard skins menu, there's several themes that you can apply here as well. Once you've picked out one of those, and maybe adjusted the keyboard height too, you'll be all set to go. I mean, it's a keyboard, so there's nothing truly revolutionary here, but it's just a really nice experience. Gesture typing and word prediction are top notch, so it's up there with the best of them in terms of raw functionality. But then the tweaks it lets you make will give it that personalized feel. And that's really the bottom line when it comes to anything Android related. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our new site at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.